Hello class, today we are going to start chapter 5 of our geography textbook, Major Domains of the Earth. In this chapter, you will study about realms of the earth, lithosphere, continents, landforms, atmosphere, composition and layers, hydrosphere, oceans and biosphere. Realms of the earth. The earth is the only planet where life exists. Does life exist in any other part of the universe? This is the question which humans have tried to find the answer but did not succeed till now. We know the reasons why life exists on the planet provides continuous on the planet earth. It has its surrounding atmosphere that provides conditions for life in various forms. It consists of land, air and water as the major physical element. Each element has its own realm or region or domain. We can divide them into four realms, the lithosphere, sphere of land, the atmosphere, sphere of air and the hydrosphere, sphere of water and the biosphere, sphere of life. Let's talk about lithosphere, the realm of land. Lithos is a Latin word that means rock. The upper surface of the earth consisting of land or rocks and soil is called lithosphere. It is found both in the continents and on ocean floor. Continents occupy 29 of the total crust of the earth. The rest is covered by ocean. The lithosphere is not uniform. It varies from place to place. The average height of the landmass of the earth is about 700 meters above the sea level. Some parts of the lithosphere are higher than 8000 meters, while some other parts are only a few meters above sea level. Do you know? The height of a place on a land is measured from the sea level. The large continuous masses of land above the earth's surface are called continents. The earth's landmass is divided into seven continents. These are Asia, Africa, North America, South America, Europe, Australia and Antarctica. Asia It is the largest continent having 29.6% of the total landmass area. In the north, it touches the Arctic Ocean, which is very cold throughout the year. In the extreme south, the equator passes through some parts of this continent where temperature remains high throughout the year. In the east and the west, it is bounded by the Pacific Ocean. The Ural Mountain and the Ural River separates it from Europe. The, the continent has many large and small countries. India and China are the most populous countries. This image is showing continents of the world. Africa. Africa is the second largest continent. It is separated by the Mediterranean Sea in the north. A very narrow piece of land known as Suez Isthmus joins it with Asia in the east. The Atlantic Ocean is on the west and the Indian Ocean in the east. The equator passes through the middle of Africa. The Tropic of Cancer and Tropic of Capricorn also passes through Africa. Major part of Africa lies in the northern hemisphere. It has big desert and dense forest, both. North America, it is the third largest continent. It lies in the northern hemisphere. Canada and USA are the two economically developed countries of this continent. North America is surrounded by Arctic Ocean in the north, the Atlantic Ocean in the east and the Pacific Ocean in the west. The continent of North America is linked with South America by a narrow stretch of land called the Isthmus of Panama. Tropic of Cancer passes through North America. South America The equator in the Tropic of Capricorn passes through this continent. The major part of this continent lies in the Southern Hemisphere. It is surrounded by the Pacific Ocean in the West and Atlantic Ocean in the East. The largest river basin of the world that is Amazon Basin lies here. Brazil, Argentina are the big countries of this continent. Europe It is located to the west of Asia. It covers 7% of the total landmass. The Arctic Ocean lies in the north, the Mediterranean Sea to the south and the Atlantic Ocean to the west of Europe. The United Kingdom, France and Germany are the most advanced countries of Europe. Australia This continent lies completely in the southern hemisphere. It is the smallest continent. It is surrounded by the Pacific Ocean in the east and the Indian Ocean in the west. Australia is sparsely populated. It is also known as island continent. The Tropic of Capricorn passes through this continent. Antarctica. This continent lies in the southernmost part of the southern hemisphere. It is stretched around the south pole 
up to the Antarctic Circle. The continent is covered with very thick sheet of ice and snow. It is estimated that three fourth of the total mass of the ice of the earth is found in Antarctica. Major landforms. We already know that surface of the earth is not uniform everywhere. Some parts are high having steep slope and rough surface whereas some other parts are smooth and flat having gentle slope. These factors are called relief of the landform. The major landforms are grouped as mountains, plateaus and plains. Let's talk about mountains first. Mountains. Mountains are the uplifted portion of the land. Surface. The uppermost part of a mountain forms a peak. A hill is lower than a mountain. Most of the mountains are arranged in a line or chain called a range which has a series of peaks and valleys. Mountains have a broad base and a conical top. On the mountains, temperature remains low as compared to the plain areas. Mountains have a very cold climate. These mountains have large rivers of ice that are also called glaciers. Glaciers are main source of water for the rivers Yamunotri and Gangotri are the important glaciers of the Himalayan mountains. Mountains have great heights with sharp sloping features through which the river flow downwards. Mountains are found in continuous chains. Their chains are known as mountain range. These ranges are usually found parallel to each other. These parallel ranges extends for about hundreds of kilometers. The Himalayas in Asia, the Alps in Europe and the Andes in South America are the example of mountain range. Some mountains are under the sea also. The mountains are of two types on the basis of its stage. Number one, young mountains. The young mountains were formed during the recent phase of mountain formation about 25 million years ago. They are very high and their peaks are covered with snow. For example, the Himalayas in Asia, the Andes in South America, the Rockies in North America and the Alps in Europe. This is a picture of Mount Everest, the old mountains. These mountains have been worn down by the force of nature and do not have sharp peaks. For example, Aravli Range in India, Ural Mountains in Russia and Appalachians in the USA. The mountains are of four types on the basis of their shape, size and height. They are as following. Number one, fold mountains. These mountains are formed when the earth's crust bends due to the earth's movements. Formation of fold mountains. Fold mountains have parallel ranges. Most of the mountains on the earth are fold mountains. These mountains are identified by the rugged relief and high conical peaks. Himalayas, Alps, Andes, Rocky are significant young fold mountains of the world. Old fold mountains have rounded tops with low height, Great Dividing Range Australia, Pennies Europe, Appalachians North America and Ural Russia etc. are the major old fold mountains of the world. Aravli Range lies in the peninsular India. It is one of the world's oldest fold mountain system. Block Mountain Block mountains are formed when a landmass between parallel faults in the earth's crust is pushed up or when the land around it sinks. This is showing the formation of block mountains. Vosages mountains in Europe are the examples of block mountain system. Volcanic mountain. These mountains are made up of the volcanic material ejected from the earth's surface. This image is showing the formation of volcanic mountain. Mount Kilimanjaro, Africa. Mount Fujiyama, Japan, Ixta Chiwati, Mexico, Mount Etna and Mount, Mount Vesuvius, Italy are the examples of volcanic mountains. This is the volcanic mountain and this is Mount Kilimanjaro. Uses or advantages of mountain. Mountains are rich sources of water. Mountain glaciers are the source of water for many rivers. Mountains provide building materials such as granite, marble, limestone etc. Many precious stones like diamond, ruby, sapphires and opals are also found in the mountains. Mountains provide shelter for wild animals. Mountains are rich sources of timber and other raw materials like raisins, gum, etc. Mountains maintain ecological balance, check environmental pollution and soil erosion. Some mountainous regions act as tourist sites. Tourists visit the mountains for their scenic beauty. 
Mountains are also popular for several types of sports like skiing, river rafting, paragliding, hang gliding, etc. Limitations of the mountains The rugged mountain terrain makes transportation and physical communication difficult. Mountainous areas are not much favorable for cultivation due to steep slopes, less availability of land and cold climate. They lack in fertile soil. Plateaus A plateau is a table land. It is an average upland with rugged surface. The average height of a plateau is about 600 meters above the sea level. Nearly 40% of the, of the total land surface of the earth is plateau area. The Tibet Plateau is the highest plateau of the world and is also called the roof of the world. Its average height is about 5000 meters above the sea level. The Deccan and the Ladakh Plateau in India, the Arabian Plateau and the Brazil Plateau are some of the large plateaus of the world. Plateaus are storehouse of minerals. It has better means of transport. Advantages of Plateaus Plateaus are rich in Mineral deposits. Many of the mining areas in the world are located in the plateau areas. Plateaus are also a huge source of gold and diamond. Kolar, Panna and Anantpur are the famous gold diamond mines of India that lie in the Deccan Plateau. When the rivers fall down from the high plateau, they form waterfalls. Hydroelectricity is originated by the falling water. Hundru waterfall on the river Subarnarekha Chota Nagpur Plateau and the Jogfall on the river Sharavati, Karnataka are waterfalls used to generate hydroelectricity. This is the image of Hundru waterfall and this is the image of Deccan Plateau. Plains Plains are rel relatively low-lying flat land. Most of the plains of the world have been formed by the rivers. Rivers carry sand, silt and sediments from the mountains and deposit it in the low-lying areas to form plains. The plains formed by the alluvial soil are very fertile. Plains have an average height of 100 to 200 meters above the sea level. The northern plains of India and Pakistan have been formed by the Indus, Ganga and Brahmaputra rivers and their tributaries. This is an image of a plain area. The other important plains are the China Plain, the Egyptian Plain and the plains of Iraq. Due to the abundant water supply, fertile soil, ideal climate and good means of transport, plains are densely populated. Advantages of Plains Plains provide fertile soil suitable for agricultural activities. The plains climate is suitable for human settlement. The coastal plains have seaports, harbors, lakes and lagoons. Plains are flat, thus the plains areas have dense networks of roads and railways. Rivers flowing across the plains are useful for navigation and irrigation. There are greater facilities for trade and manufacturing, so most of the world's great cities are situated on plains. Do you know? Mount Everest is the highest peak of the world. It is located in Himalayan range in Nepal. Its height is 8,848 meters from the sea level. Atmosphere Atmosphere is the realm of air. Atmosphere is the sphere of air surrounding the earth from all sides. The gravitational pull of the earth holds the atmosphere close to its surface. Composition It contains several gases like oxygen 21%, nitrogen 78%, carbon dioxide 0.03%, ozone, argon, krypton, etc. 0.97% The gases are essential for life on Earth. This is the composition of atmosphere. Nitrogen and oxygen are the two gases which constitute about 99% of the total volume of the atmospheric air. The amount of carbon dioxide, although very minute, but is very important part of atmosphere, it keeps the Earth warm. Besides gases, water vapors and dust particles are also prevalent in the atmosphere. The ozone layer in the atmosphere protects all form of life on the earth from the harmful radiation of the sun. The atmosphere extends up to about 1600 km, but the density is maximum near the earth's surface. As we go higher, the density of air decreases. This diagram is showing the structure of atmosphere. The density of atmosphere is not the same everywhere. Generally, the density of the atmosphere decreases when we move away from the Earth's surface. On the basis of composition and density, the atmosphere is generally divided into five layers. Troposphere, stratosphere, mesosphere, 
thermosphere and exhaust fare. They are arranged from the earth's surface towards the upper limit of the atmosphere. Do you know? The atmosphere rocks as the medium for fast air transport and virtual communication. Troposphere the troposphere is closest to the earth and has about 90% of the total air in the atmosphere. It extends about 18 km from the equator and 8 km above the poles. Temperature decreases with increasing altitude in this layer at the rate of 1 degree Celsius for every 165 meters. Weather phenomena affecting human life occur at this layer. The height at which the temperature of the air stops decreasing is called troposphere. Here, it can be as low as minus 85 degrees Celsius. Stratosphere Stratosphere is very clean and calm layer. No weather condition occur or no cloud is found here. So, it is suitable for aircraft to fly comfortably. The zone which demarcates lines of separation between troposphere and stratosphere is called tropopause. This is the layers of atmosphere. Mesosphere Above the stratosphere lies another layer known as mesosphere. A special form of oxygen called ozone is found in the upper layer of stratosphere and lower mesosphere. This layer is very important as it acts as a shield over the earth's surface. It absorbs the harmful ultraviolet sun rays from reaching the earth's surface. Do you know? The ultraviolet rays of the sun can cause skin cancer and different types of allergies. Thermosphere Charged ion particles found here, so it is also called ionosphere. These electricity charged ion particles play important role in our wireless communication. Radio waves travel through this layer about 1600 km above the earth's surface. The earth's atmosphere gradually merges with very thin gases of outer space. Hydrosphere it is the layer of water on the surface of the earth, below the surface of the earth and in the air. Water covers about two-thirds of the total surface of the earth. Therefore, the earth is called watery planet. Do you know? All the oceans are interconnected. Therefore, the level of water remains the same. The largest part of the earth is covered with oceans. Water is present in the form of ice sheets in the polar region. And on high mountains, water also occur on land in the form of lake and river. Oceans, it covers 71% of the total surface of the earth. This vast expanse is in the form of four oceans, the Pacific, the Atlantic, the Indian and the Arctic. The Pacific Ocean, the Pacific Ocean is the deepest and the largest ocean. It covers about one third of the earth's surface. On the west, it is surrounded by Asia and Australia and on the east by North and South America. Do you know? The deepest trench in the Pacific Ocean is the Mariana Trench which is about 11,034 meters deep below the sea level. The Atlantic Ocean. It is half the size of the Pacific Ocean. It is shaped like the letter S. It covers about one-sixth of the total surface of the Earth. It has two developed continents on its two sides. That is. Europe in the east and North America on the west. It has the Bermuda Triangle also. This image is showing oceans of the world. The Indian Ocean. It is smaller than the Pacific and the Atlantic Ocean. It is named after the country India. It is bound by the continents of Asia, Africa and Australia. The Arctic Ocean. This ocean lies within the Arctic Circle and has North Pole at its center. The Pacific and the Atlantic Ocean merge into it. In North Asia, Europe and North America makes thin northern boundaries with this ocean. It remains frozen for a longer part of the year. Biosphere It is the sphere of life. The term biosphere is always used in the joint context of the living organism and the surface of the earth. In fact, biosphere is the narrow zone of contact between the lithosphere, hydrosphere and the atmosphere where life exists. All plants, animals and microorganisms live together in their physical environment and interact with each other. They are interdependent for their survival. Life exists only about 9 km above the earth and about 11 km below the ocean surface. All the realms of the earth are interconnected. If any change comes about in one realm, it affects the other realms due to the 
chain reaction. It has been noticed that the biosphere remains in a state of balance. This is due to nature's capacity to purify and regenerate. It is the human beings who interfere and create imbalance between the plant and animal kingdoms. As the human population is increasing rapidly, more space is required for different human activities such as agriculture, industry and urbanization. This image is showing limits of biosphere. Man is destroying the forest carelessly and exploiting its resources. Several problems such as soil erosion, flood etc. have come up before human beings. Pollution of air and water has also been increased. We should be eco-friendly and important measures should be taken by the people and the government both for the sake of our environment. Summing up, the upper surface of the earth consisting of land of rocks and soil is called lithosphere. The large masses of land above the earth's surface are called continents. Asia is the largest continent having 29.6% of the total land mass area. Australia is the smallest continent. Mountains are the uplifted portion of the land surface. A plateau is a table, table land. Nearly 40% of the total land surface of the earth is plateau area. The Tibetan plateau is the highest plateau of the world and is also called the roof of the world. Its average height is 5000 meters above the sea level. Atmosphere is the sphere of air surrounding the earth from all sides. Nitrogen and oxygen are the two gases which constitute about 99% of the total volume of the air of the atmospheric air. The ozone layer in the atmosphere protects all forms of life on the earth from the harmful radiation of the sun. The troposphere is the closest to the earth and has about 90% of the total air in the atmosphere. The special form of oxygen called ozone is found in the upper layer of a stratosphere and lower mesosphere. The Pacific Ocean is the, is the deepest and the largest ocean. Thank you class. Let's meet in the next chapter.